Welcome back to another video. I'm gonna go for green today. So quick camera talk. Yesterday's vlog was filmed at 1 over 125 because I'm filming at 100 frames per second. The banding was reduced if you're interested, but it wasn't didn't go away. So today I'm now filming at what 1 over 100. So I think this is pretty much the limit that I can go with motion blur till it starts becoming um, jerky, I think. I'm not sure. I apologize in advance if it looks crap. There we go. Uh, when it comes to skipping today, I'm gonna try and do or work in a backwards EB. So not a backwards EB swing, but a backwards EB. So that's where you you do a body cross backwards, but then you also jump over the rope. So that's, that's what I'm trying to do. Full disclosure, I have been practicing this before. So this is not the first time that I'm trying it, but I'm in the early stages of learning. So there you go. That's the full disclosure done. Let's get to it. shouldn't be trying to do this EB so late into this uh, this combo routine, whatever you want to call it. But I've kind of I've kind of started now so I probably should just carry on. Okay, so what I'm trying to do now is mic release into an EB swing, into a switch cross, then a mic release on the opposite side into a switch cross, ideally with the opposite hand placements. So that's where switch cross, opposite hand placements, and then a stall through the legs, backwards bounce, single bounce, EB swings on both sides, a kick back forwards, a switch cross, and then a stall through the legs, and then back into a rear uh, backwards skipping, and then at the end I do a, a backwards EB. That's the plan. It's not it's not working exactly to plan, but we're getting there. We're getting there.
light. Oh, that's... Oh, that's... I mean, that is probably not the best place to put it. There we go. That's right underneath the thing. That's it, we're done. I think I, I, think I got maybe three or, th three or four attempts that, well, I made it to the end. But it's one of those things that I'm just picking up. So don't look at this as like a how-to guide. Obviously, you're not doing that. The idea is in the next couple of days, weeks, or whatever, just try and get incrementally better at doing backward skipping in general. As it becomes easier or more second nature, um, then it starts to become really fun. So you can just add it into combos. In that respect, I kind of see jump rope as like a language. Like you know when you like you learn at the beginning, you learn a few words, and then you don't really know how to string them together. And after a while, you kind of get used to words and you know how words fit with the words to make sentences and then once you know those sentences you can manipulate them to make different sentences if that makes any sense but that's what jump rope, ju that's what jump rope is like for me so anyway thanks for watching hope you enjoyed it if you did please do leave a thumbs up maybe consider subscribing if you haven't done it already if you do don't forget to press the little notification bell so you don't miss a video and i shall see you tomorrow bye